undercarriage system is something we've had out since the fall of 2008, I believe, in the form of a steel track undercarriage. So steel wheels, steel embed track, but suspended. Nobody else has a steel embed track, steel undercarriage system that is a fully suspended undercarriage. Now, saying fully suspended, what does that mean? Well, we have torsion axles. Torsion axles are essentially a shaft that this undercarriage rides on, and there's a little bell crank, and then there's a piece inside the machine that has a bar connected to that bell crank, and it works against rubber cords. Those, that bar works against rubber cords, much like a trailer axle kind of would, okay? So there are four independent axles, one here, 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 and here. They suspend that undercarriage fully from the chassis. You go out and look at any other steel undercarriage system in the marketplace, it's going to be welded or bolted to the chassis. So it'll be a rigid mount, no matter who else, whoever everybody else is you look at. Now what does that mean? Well, right up front, the most obvious benefit is that it gives you a much better ride as an operator. You don't feel all the impact loading that you would see on uneven grounds because, you know, when you go start looking around at job sites, nobody's job site's flat as a pancake. Everybody's got some sort of uneven ground, right? So every time that undercarriage encounters that on a rigid mounted machine, you're going to feel that as an operator. Here, you're going to have that isolated out, that kind of shock loading kind of dampened out, so you don't feel it as an operator. So you're in a machine all day, you're much more comfortable, okay? Second way, we already talked about it, bucket retention, right? If you're not driving all that load back into the chassis, then you're able to keep the material in the bucket or on the forks much better. The way you keep that contact patch on the ground is to have torsion axles. Because anytime you encounter any kind of uneven ground, if you've got a rigidly mounted undercarriage, you're automatically shrinking or making your contact patch smaller. Any on our compact track loaders, uh, all of them come standard as two-speed. Why do we do that? Well, first of all, the two-speed gives you the ability to have that tractive effort, that load, you know, that when you look at the uh, speed and, and torque. So you look at a lot of speed, you usually don't have as much torque. If you have a lot of torque, you don't usually have a lot of speed. Kind of look at those inversely proportional to each other. So we give you a two-speed motor here, it gives you the best of both worlds. We give you a lot of torque, we give you that good pushing power, but then we give you a high gear, two-speed, so that you have that additional productivity. So you can run across the job site, run down the block, get another bu a bucket of rock, or whatever the case may be. You get that extra productivity gain with that two-speed. And that's standard on our, on our compact track motors. But we like to say it's usable speed. So this goes eight and a half miles an hour, and we say it's 100%, eight and a half mile an hour usable speed. And what do we mean by that? Again, torsion axles. With those torsion axles, you get a much better ride, you get a cushioned ride. So even on uneven ground, you can take advantage of all the speed that we put in the machine.